Hello everyone, this is Rafi the PC Doctor. Today I'm gonna show you my new project which is called Motorized Pinwheel. Now, motors in general require more current than the Arduino's output pins can supply and motors can generate their own current through a process called induction. And I'm gonna show you how. Now, this is the motor that I'm gonna use in this project, which is a normal DC motor. Um, now Arduino uh, can provide a 40 milliamperes from its digital pins uh, which is much less than what the most motor requires to work um, the new element we must talk about is this one which is called the transistor the MOSFET transistor now the MOSFET transistor has three legs here here and here now in general talking um, transistor are components that allow you to control high current and high voltage power sources from the low current output of the Arduino there are many different kinds but they work on the same principle now we can think of a transistor as a digital switch when we provide voltage to one of the transistor pins called the gate which is this one here um, this one the last one um, it closes the circuit between the other two pins which is which are the source and drain now the middle one is the drain and the last one is the source which is connected to the ground um, this way we can turn a higher current or voltage motor on and off with the Arduino Now motors These ones like these ones um, Are type of inductive device Induction is a process by which a changing electrical current in a wire can generate a changing magnetic field around the wire when a motor is given electricity a tightly wound coil inside the housing of the copper creates a magnetic field and this field causes the shaft which is the part that sticks out of the housing to spin around now the reverse is true a motor can generate electricity when the shaft is a spin around now I will make a little demonstration how we can use the DC motor as um, a current generator. Now we need uh, a breadboard here and we need um, LED to show the current output. Um, here is an LED. We plug the LED on the breadboard. and we take the motor from the project this project and we shall remove this wooden piece here and this is the motor shaft now we plug the red wire with the anode and the black wire with the cathode of the LED yes and we spin the shaft of the DC motor and the LED should light up and we will try it Now the LED is lighting up as you can see what small lightning because our movement is slow. Now all, uh, what I'm doing is moving the shaft in the reverse way in a fast mode. And we can see the LED is blinking. 
like this. Now plugging that motor back to our project, which is the red wire with the ground and this one with the other part of the diode. like this yes um, now as we said that Arduinos do not provide the wanted current from its output pins so we will use a battery here 9 volts battery and we're gonna plug it to the breadboard the ground with the ground and the red wire the VCC just like this and it's connected um, now a tip is that when we stop supplying energy to the motor it will continue to spin because it has an inertia um, when it's spinning it will generate a voltage in the opposite direction than the current we gave it um, we saw this effect when we made the motor LED light up when we spun the shift in the reversal way this reverse voltage sometimes called back voltage which can damage the resist the transistor here so that's why um, we use the diode which is this circuit this element um, and we should put the diode in the parallel with the motor so that the back voltage passes through the diode um, the diode will only allow electricity to flow in one direction protecting the rest of the circuit um, now as we said to the regarding to the transistor it has three legs um, here, here and here the first one we called it the gate um, change in voltage in the gate makes a connection between the other two pins which are the drain and the source the drain here uh, when the Arduino activates the transistor by supplying voltage to the gate this pin will be connected to the third pin which is called the source and the source is connected to the ground now activating our circuit um, A normal usage is we plug in the PC cable. I've already uploaded the sketch to the microcontroller here. So all what we have to do is to press this switch and we can see the shaft is spinning like this. Now as we said that um, the shaft will still spinning after we remove our hand from the switch because it has the inertia Now a simple use of this motor that we can plug in this wooden piece to the motor Like this and then use um, this CD which I use the duct tape to connect it to this paper colorful paper it comes with the Arduino starter kit and we plug it to the this wooden piece in the middle of the circuit 
middle of the city, sorry. Something like this. Now if we activate the circuit again, we press the button and we can see that the CD starts to spin. And as we said, it does not stop because of the moment of the inertia, sorry. Yeah, and that's all. Um, projects using Arduino Uno motorized pinwheel using the DC motor. Thanks for watching.